<laughs> okay, welcome back to Sankara Anime Review Part 5. Yeah, this is the last thing to talk about for this series. As far as I can tell, the anime is not coming back. I mean, there's nothing online about it. It doesn't come back anyways. <laughs> now, this I'm talking about technically is referred to as Episode 0. Yes. A OVA takes place seven months prior to the events of the pilot. Yes. Now, this particular one is basically kind of like, it starts out very creepy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it started off with this. Basically, it starts off with Rhea's, Rhea and her father taking pictures of Rhea in her, in her birthday suit. I'm like, oh my gosh, why the heck they started with this thing? Yes, I'm like, okay. Yeah, and we also can see her complete. Now, in the show, they actually censor this. In this, nope, they show her completely, completely naked. They show everything. Nothing is barely even covered. Yeah, she appears twice in this one completely naked. As a matter of fact, toward the very end of this thing, she's shown naked. Why the heck they did this for? Now, second time, now, they probably did this for fan service. But this whole thing takes place in its prior to events of the first episode. So before Ch Chetro first met Rhea. Now, like in the case of the third OVA, it's subbed. Not dubbed. I don't know why it wasn't dubbed, just wasn't dubbed. So pretty much after that, we just have two kind of folk concurrent stories. One with Rhea, basically. A lot of the time we see Rhea, she's interacting with her stepmother. Where after the whole birthday thing, which... Very brief scene with her father. As far as I can tell, right after that scene, he's never seen again. Rhea pops up a few more times in this particular thing. Most of focus on Chotro, where she talks to her stepmother in her bedroom, where her stepmother's drunk and she wants her to disappear. She talks about with her the next day. Doesn't know anything doesn't know what we talk about. And the next time we see her is in the hot is in the hot spring. And then the last time we see her is basically at the well, screaming at it, basically setting up the events of the pilot episode. Chotro, basically him, Renko, Miro, and his fa and basically the father, he they're all driving in his car to this a relative of theirs in another city to basically sort out a series of books. Now, this is actually quite interesting because this actually loosely ties into or well, something that was mentioned back in the pilot episode. So they see all the books, and it's a big, humongous stack of them, basically taller than my ceiling. Yeah, that's how tall these damn things are. So takes a while, and about halfway after a few hours, excuse me, take a break to have lunch. But Chartro basically doesn't want to. Of course, on the way there, he's watching his zombie on his laptop. Yes, a zombie movie. Just cuz. So, yeah, and apparently all he does all day is be so lazy, he can't even hire the engine to move around. I mean, I may be kind of lazy, but at least I move around, at least I go outside. Yeah. So, he basically, like, sides laying on the floor because he can't move. Well, he can't, he's just so exhausted after a few hours. So, they come back at a half hour for lunch. And then he spots something shiny. He pulls this thing out, paper out, and it's a picture of his mother. Now, they do have this brief scene with him and his father talk about their mo his mother, where she loved him and she was very kind. His father's like, yeah, that's that's definitely true. And he doesn't remember what she looks like. And according to the father, and even he questions why the heck she is. Apparently, he's not allowed to tell anything about the mother. Which, I'm like, why the heck would you even agree to that? I mean, this is your kids, and they're asking about their late mother. Yes. Rhea knows exactly what her mother looks like, even though she died right after she was born. At least she has knows who she is. Even though that Arya is not her mother, just stepmother. So, pretty much, like... And then we see that he picture basically falls falls through this hole in the floor where he spots a box. And he picks it up and 
this is where the tie into the pilot comes from. Yeah, this reveals exactly where he got the book from to make the potion that basically turned Ray into a zombie. Yeah, this very warehouse is where he found the damn thing. And he shows as far as, like, oh, just some cheap literature. Even though, basically, this is actually later we a book, basically, written by his grandfather. By the way, he briefly appears in this, in a brief cameo, and Bob appears too. Also a brief cameo as well. And, like, he just basically spends a lot of time missing, just reading it. Or basically, and he just, so he's basically asked to go to war with, with, with his sister and cousin. Cousin has got a thing for him. So, they walk to Waterfall, they get separated at a fork because he's not watching where he's going, he has him money, and then he just happens out by a hot spring, which Rhea just had to be at. And Rhea doesn't exactly see him, clearly because of all the steam. So, she's a, a, a guy, doesn't know who she, he is. Basically, the one, my, my guess is the anime must have realized that these two probably couldn't exactly see each other, just to see a little bit of each other, but can't exactly see what these two look like. And he's a flower, he goes pick it up, of course, I'm dropping his book. And he picks the book up. She Bria picks up her flower, her flower that's usually in her hair. I think this this flower had been maybe given to her by her late mother. I no, don't really know. They don't really explore much at all. And he goes off and he spends the rest of the time on the way back. Instead of watching more Zion movies, he proceeds to just read this book. And that's the thing ends. Even now, here's the thing: the this particular OVA has got different animation style to that of the main anime, but. The way this OVA looks, it looks gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It almost seems like this particular OVA may have been made with the same people who made those... Uh, it may have been made from... This is my personal theory. This may have been made by... I don't, I don't think it's made by Stu Ghibli, even though this is an OVA made by Stu Dean. My guess is they must use the same style from Stu Ghibli to make this particular OVA because it's a beautiful OVA to look at. Because the animation is freaking gorgeous. I think the one thing I could live without is seeing... The, bir the new birthday pictures. Oh, it's not birth. It's basically last day of middle school. I'm like, okay, picture her naked. Like, okay, if I tell her, also take off her clothes. I'm like, dude, that's not how a father acts. He's way too obsessed with, with his own daughter. Yep. And he just as creepy as like this in the manga though. He stops at he stops at the and lives with Chocho. Yes, it's a good OVA. Great. And it does basically explore something that set it does set up the pilot really well. Basically, George when he when he first found the book because in the anime he just randomly found it. Does, doesn't exactly mention when he found it. And this OVA pretty much is there to just explain where he got the book from. He just found it in the floor. Why the heck it was there? No idea. Why in the world? Just by sheer coincidence that his mother basically, which they. Barely mentioned her in the series. All I mentioned is she's dead. Apparently she died of some disease. They don't say what it was. Kind of like what happened with Rhea's mother. That's one thing Rhea and Chocho have in common. Basically deceased mothers. Though she does have a, a mother there. Motherly figure in form. Arya basically her stepmother. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it's a good OVA. Well written. And good thing to recommend people who actually like the anime itself. Yep, and that's going to be pretty much it for this video, and that's the only videos for today, but also this video review series, basically, for St. Korea Undying Love. Yep, last one, because nothing much else to talk about when it comes to the series. Nope, nothing. Yep, but tomorrow, I don't think I'll get a chance to interview videos tomorrow. Nope, because I'm going out of town. So don't expect to see any videos until... Sunday. So, for the next three days, no videos. Why? The reason why, because I'm going out of town to celebrate my nephew's birthday. That's a simple reason for it. I'll be gone for three days. Leaving Friday night, and then come back to Sunday. So, expect to see you Sunday. Though I may have to push some videos until like the next day, because I'll probably get back late. So, on Sunday, basically, when I get back, I expect to see future videos for Case Closed. One Piece, Barto, My Hero Academia, and Naruto Shippuden. Basically overall, I'd say about five videos overall. Mm -hmm. But do you see the next video, which probably will be done Sunday.